Love you Alex. Hi everybody. Oh, is my mic working? Yeah, we didn't have power for most of the morning, bleeding into the afternoon, so all my stuff got reset. What's going on, guys? Jishi, thank you so much for the tier one for 16 months. No power, Rippy. Kind of threw a, even though I knew it was coming, it kind of threw a uh, ratchet into my plans, as it were. Is it true? Is it the streamer Alexa Toes Live? You remember when I had Alex Otos live as my username? <laughs> because, oh my God, I don't even want, honestly, my brain hurts thinking of that story. My brain hurts, dude. Uh, hi, Pasta, how you doing? Pasta, I, I th think you messaged me, right? You got the board? Check me, what's going on, guys? Hello, everybody. What's going on, Ghost? Laance, how you doing? Adam, how you doing? Miss Janella, Arigato, how you doing, Ghost? Uh, angry, quality, bro. Just what from those naps where you think it's the next morning? Same, dude. Check Discord DMs. Let me see, did you get it? Hold on, I'm stoked. Um, da, 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 da. Where is your message? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, dude. Happy Monday. BLR, thank you so much for the Prime. Pasta, oddly enough, we're building another bear tonight, so. Hi everybody. Guys, my head is like off and on hurdy mode right now. So I'm gonna try my best, bro. Nice purple key mat. Dude, right? I thought we needed some color on the setup. I thought we needed a little bit of color, so there it is. Yeah, I think it's some, I, honestly, Michelle, I think it's like air pressure or I don't know, I, I wanted to like, like shave or something. I haven't even done, honestly, today's been like, it feels like a write off for me. And BLR, thank you again, I appreciate that dude. Kimlin Win. So nice. Hi, hi oh Alex. Gosh. Hello, hello, how are you? Hold on, where's my light thingy? Honestly, fuck it, dude. Do we need the light today? Do we need it? My hair is like a fucking mess from bedhead right now. Drink ice cold water, pop a Titanol, rub some vapor up. Done, done, and done. And I, asked, I also have water. I've already done it all. Thank you, Kim Lin Win. All we need is your smile. Thank you, Oak. I'll brush your hair without a brush? Huh? Only if you use your, only if you use your beard. I'll, I'll do it, bro. Uh, but can you check DMs after your stream? Nev, I checked last night. What's your username, Nev? I don't see anything. Hi, hi Kip. In my head, I go straight for the Titanol. Yeah, are you guys Titanol or Advil people? I feel like I'm more Advil person. Uh, just sent, I'm noob. Oh, oh shit. Um, noob King, I will message you afterwards because I still need to do the uh, the build with the the plate. The sorry, the what's it called? The PCB. Um, I sent Alex my only family sneak report me shake my head. Okay, guys, Sag, Alex didn't check my DM. Guys, not gonna lie, the last few days, let me tell you guys about my DMs, right? It's been a lot of these. Hi, we're X Factory from X Place on Earth. We noticed that you're a keyboard person. We can do many designs in CNC. Would you like to use our service? That's pretty much my DMs, all right? That's pretty much my DM list right now. Nothing I could do about it. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, actually, you hit them up, right? How much is the commission fee usually for a building? Uh, building keyboard starts at 50 bucks. It's not, people think it should be more. I've already had this long conversation in my own head a million times. I'm never gonna make it more. 
It starts at 50 and then for a TKL, the most it'll ever get to is $70. So, I hate those. Do you get them two Starfire? They're crazy, aren't they? Look at this bear. It's still in the wrap. This bear is fresh. Actually, this tape don't look don't f that fresh though. This tape is yellowed. Um, fresh bear, my fave. My Instagram DMs are like those bots advertising products. You know, Instagram's not been that bad recently. It's just been Discord. Discord's been the awful one. Do you guys get DMs? It's not, I don't think I get human DMs on, on them, you know? If I can get a fitness ambassador, you get those? I don't get any of those. Dude, I swear, I think I'm the only keyboard streamer to not get approached by people outside of the keyboard world. For me, it's only keyboards. It's all I get. I only get keyboards or the occasional, I'll get that one company that does those, I'm gonna say stupid, but I think they're stupid. You know those little like robot, whatever they're called, those like little speakers, the divot boom things? I'll get them and they'll be like, listen, if you make a post and do all this extra work for us, you can keep the little speaker thing. And I'm just like, dude, no, I'm no, good, hi, man. Alex. Uh, hi, Nimbus. How you doing, man? They, thanks for the seven months of being here, dude. She gets sponsored by Manscaped? Ooh, this, is a, this is a fancy feeling box. It has texture. Nice. Very fancy. I uh, haven't heard of this board, looking forward to it. The Bear V2? Bear's nice. Bear's a little older now, I think. The Bear V2. I think it already ran like a little while ago. Um, I don't know if the owner's in chat, but spring swapped everything. We oiled the springs with 105. This build's ready to go. 205 on the actual switches. 765, Two thank you so much, train. dude. Thank you so much. Let's see, what do we got? I don't think I've opened a retail package for this. Oh no, I think I have. I don't know if mine was considered retail. Oh wow. I think mine did come with this too. Pretty positive. Uh, you have your bear, Starfire? Elquan. Oh my God, Elquan, you're you're melting my headache away right now just by being you. Thank you so much, Elquan. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, buddy. Elquan. All right, Elquan, you're coming to the meetup? I'm gonna see you there. Um, you've had your bear since December. Which color did you get? Did you get one of the pretty colors? Elquan, you're getting a hug, all right? And a, and a crisp high five. I don't know what excites you more, but <laughs> you're getting one of the two. Uh, purple? Oh, I want to see the purple one with a white badge. Oh, that sounds nice. I don't know what color this is actually. It looks black or blue. Is this navy? Oh, this is like a, a very deep navy. Actually, this is not too bad. This is not like too saturated. I kind of like this with the white badge. Cool. All right, boards here. We'll take a look at the board afterwards. This is a client build, by the way, guys, in case anyone's wondering. It is a client build. So with that being said, we're gonna go through the necessary steps of testing the PCB. So this is so new that I don't think this client's even opened this up once. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Website uh, looked like it did. Don't scream at, wait, what happened? Oh, that's a response. Dude, I hate Twitch. The Twitch threads are so dumb. Like, I have to go and click them to read the whole conversation because the responding thing is so bad. Uh, want to buy Alex Otos? Huh? Am I for sale? I paid someone to lube and film them, uh, but they have an annoying film leaf. What happens to Bliss? Okay. I don't remember the prototype PCB looking like this, but interesting. All right, now to go through this little guy and find the daughter board. 
Yeah, the threads are stupid. Is that flex cuts? Did the bear I built have flex cuts? What? There's a cute little screwdriver in here. Excuse me? I didn't get a cute little screwdriver like this. I would have remembered. Gulp. Um, the black thing on my, is that a butt plug? Do you want it to be? I'm sure we can retrofit it. This is kind of cute. There should be a mental keycap too. A mental one? Oh, you meant metal. I, I was like, what were we talking about? There should be a metal keycap? Oh yeah. Oh, mental? What the fuck? It actually says mental. <laughs> what? I told you? <laughs> Damn. You weren't kidding. God, God damn it. I just ripped the bag. Okay, I hate these little baggies sometimes. I give up, dude. It's driving me mental opening this damn thing, bro. What the hell? I'm just gonna cut it open. Skill issue? Yeah, clearly. I just ripped it. Oh, God damn, bro. There you go. Must be childproof? Damn, Avo, for real? Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is super cute. I love this little mental keycap. <laughs> this mental keycap is my favorite one that I've ever received in a client package. I'm gonna put it right back in the baggie for now because it won't match the keycaps that this client's going with. It's supposed to heal your mental health. How do you apply it? Do you just rub it all over? Is that what you do? We got some feet. Would you all recommend some matcha lattes? Uh, matcha latte is a good drink, my personal favorite. Uh, I like, um, <laughs> the switches are good too, but uh, yeah, I personally, I'm not really a matcha person. God, everything's so nicely labeled. Feet pad for wrist rest. Okay, that's later. What's this? Feet pad for case. Okay, that's now. Some gasket, some gasket tools. Uh, daughter board and JST cable, we need that. And the mental keycap we're gonna put back as well as this screwdriver. Um, would you all recommend palm or alu for indo key matcha lattes? Oh, that's what you're asking. Um, I would recommend, what, what board is it? Senif, what board? More important. And actually for drinks, I think caramel, caramel drinks are more my favorite, dude. Caramel drinks are always my fave. I'm a big caramel guy. It's a mode 65. I would go, oh. Both would probably sound really good with that particular um, particular switch. <clears throat> but I would probably go with, uh, I would probably go with fuck, maybe Palm in that case, give you a little bit of a deeper sound signature. I know the Mode 65 is a little brighter. Most matcha drinks outside of home are mid. I don't know, I've just never been big on matcha. I, I much prefer, I don't know, it's not sweet, it's not sweet enough for me. That sounds terrible saying that. I'm big on Alex. Damn, bro. Then you haven't had good matcha? Tim. Why, why don't you put your money where your mouth is, Tim, and come and make me a good matcha drink, all right? Put your money where your mouth is and come make me a good mate drink and then give me a kiss on the cheek. All right? God damn, bro. What? Let me mix up your intestines? What? Tim's actually trying to kill me, bro. Um, it makes you a genius? Hey, yo, pardon, bro, pause? Pro Davis has analog dreams in stock and I'm just hoping I don't impulse buy. Three times rule. You have to do the three times rolls. Like, where's my mouse? But I put it on top of this box. Enjoy my Mode 65 with that palm plate in alpacas. It's deepish. Yeah, I, I know that the Mode 65 with palm gets really deep. What was I doing via authorized device? Now my cable is a little funky right now. For some reason, I think I pulled them a little bit too much the other day, and uh, I funkied it up. All right, key tester. 
Is the Matrix thing working yet? That's the real question. We'll see. I am 1000% impulse buying Analog Dreams. I'm probably also gonna impulse buy it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh, everything's working nice. It's a set that I've kind of had my eyes on for a while too, so. I'll probably impulse buy it with you guys. I know that sounds awful to say. You know, it's easier doing it this way. It's way easier doing it this way. Uh, you see how you can open up QMX tabs? You can open them up? Is it by yoinking on them? You must explain how to, how to do this. Honestly, I don't... If it requires a whole bunch of extra work, then I'm good. Is that the hot swap PCB? This is the hot swap PCB, yeah. Actually, kind of nice, because low-key, my head still hurts a little bit, and I kind of didn't feel like smelling solder today. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad low-key, dude. Uh, who's the UX proxy for Analog Dreams? I don't remember, actually. Is there a Canadian proxy for it? Every set with renders uh, by Mr. Bingo is an insta-buy. <laughs> is it? Is all insta? Novel, is it novel keys? Wait, no, for Canada. Sorry, did I say US? I meant for Canada. Is it Desk Hero? I don't know who Canada is. I'm not in the United States. Desk Hero for Canada. Teha just uh, wiggled them out. Wiggled them out of the top? That can't be good if they wiggled out. They're not supposed to wiggle out that way. They are not supposed to do that. Hold on, I didn't test these ones here. Uh, yo, what's going on, dude? Uh, chat rules, thanks guys. This chat's kind of the best chat in the world. There's no chat better than this chat. None. Um, I bought Digital Nightmares too. There's a lot of nice sets out. A lot of nice sets that I really, really want. Why are these all triggering the same? Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Uh, Tim's chat, maybe? Tim's chat's pretty nice. Dude, you know what's crazy? Everyone's so nice in Tim's chat. And then Tim is just so mean to everyone in his chat. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what happens all the time. It's just Tim's a bully. Okay, we got this. PCB is all working. Let's get our stabilizers. Um, yeah, let's grab our stabs first. Let's do that. I don't know what foams the client wants. I probably actually recommend using mid plate foam. I'm just really looking for new people to bully. <laughs> um, Alaska wants a compliment. You know who I would never bully? Alaska. In fact, if Alaska got cold, I'd warm Alaska up on you, know what I'm saying? Hope you're having a good day, Alaska. I did that for dramatic effect, the slurping of the, the water. Mid? Oh, come on, that was pretty good. Ayo, uh, can, you, can I join? I wish you'd bully me. My partner and I had a keyboard building date night and it was a heap of fun. Also found a use for my SA Dream Eater set. That sounds, wait, that sounds so cute. Did you guys, was it soldering included? Or did you guys just like do hot swap? Either way, that sounds awesome. And was it actually your partner's first time doing a keyboard? That sounds so awesome, dude. Insult me, Alex, huh? Well, I'm just gonna email the client. <laughs> Insult me, Alex, with that face just has me feeling some type of way right now, bro. Hold on, what foams did we want, if any, in the board? <laughs> Insult me, Alex. Alex, please look me in the eyes and tell me I'm a sonnet. <laughs> do you guys want to be keyboards like low key? Is that what you guys want to do? Just become keyboards? <laughs> That'd be so weird. Uh, where did I put the stats right here? 
Alright. Wouldn't mind being one, not gonna lie. I guess getting free switch looping labor from my girlfriend is wholesome. That sounds nice too, yeah. Wait, I'm curious. The person who said, uh, who, who's the person who went on the keyboard date? I wanna see, was it physics? Yeah, did he respond? It was my first time she, oh, it was the first time she built one completely. Hey, <gasps> I'm 25. I'm gonna take a look later. Thank you, physics, thanks for sharing that. But yeah, I'm gonna take a look in like a bit here. Nice. Hope that's enough stabs. I think so. Uh, Letty, thank you so much for the tier one for 25 fucking months. Do you guys know how long that is? That's two years. That's crazy that you subbed to me for two years. I'm hoping you're getting value out of this and enjoyment. Uh, fursonas, fursonas, what the hell is a fursona? We now have keepsona. Uh, well, I don't know what that is. Hi, Frank. Hi, hi, Frank. No way I could be, that's something that useful. <laughs> so mean to say. Worth every month, thanks guys. What are the keycaps on the gray keyboard called? This is, an, um, this is an Omni type set. This is Moto Light. The more I look at Moto Light, the more I love Moto Light. Moto Light's amazing. It looks so good. It looks like a render on this keyboard, like low key. This keyboard lo looks totally fake on my desk. It looks so fake. Do you guys do this with your stabs too? Where you separate them? Or do you guys just like be chaos and do everything? No, I guess like normal, normal person would do. All right, well, let's grab our lubricant. Lubricant or lubricant? Where the fuck is it? Here it is, it's right here. I tub lube them without separating. Man, you guys are brave with the tub lubes. I'm so, I'm so scared to tub lube. Alex, I finally decided to get a sonnet and a lot of the options are gone. Dude, what options are even left? I feel like, I don't know. I don't mean to put pressure on you guys because I don't care if you guys get it or not. But if you guys were considering one, you probably should consider sooner rather than later before all the parts run out. Last thing I want you guys to do is end up wanting one and then you guys end up having to pay aftermarket stuff for it. That sounds not fun. Uh, a lot of sonnets secondhand though. Are there are a lot of secondhand sonnets. I have a weird feeling people will start bumping up their. Alex got laid off today. Uh, today, any advice? <gasps> oh no, Osman. Okay, first of all, don't panic. I, I know that's an, that's an easy thing for me to say because I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm also in that mindset of I panic. First of all, don't panic. Second of all. If you're okay to, um, if you're okay to just like relax for right now while you find something new, uh, don't rush into just the first job you get because you're gonna regret it. Can tell you that from experience. Find something, take a deep breath, uh, maybe take a week to yourself to kind of gather and collect your thoughts. Again, if you have the, the privilege to do so. But um, I'm gonna say this, dude. Every job that I've ever gotten, well, I, I've, I've only gotten laid off of one time, but um, every job that I've left, because I've just like not seen opportunity there or the one time I got laid off, it, is uh, there's always something behind the next door, bro. Like I'm telling you, it's it's just, it's just a kick in the ass for self-improvement in a way. I know that sounds ridiculous, but uh, it tr I think truly it is, man. Losing your job is the worst feeling in the world. Yep. I lost mine, even though I had Twitch streaming, which I mean, isn't really a good substitute at the end of the day, but when I lost mine, man, I still felt like shit. Um, so I, I feel you. Tiny purple key mat, isn't it beautiful? Alex saying laid off of novel keys going to work for all me. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. I, I knew it was coming for, for when I got laid off though. But that's all I can tell you though, Osman. Working in tech makes you think it'll never happen. Dude, I literally got laid off of a tech job too. I totally understand that mentality, guys. But you got this, Osman. Sub Trust. Dude, thank you so much for the sub rub luck. Appreciate you, dude. 
It's always another door though. There's always something better. <laughs> Where'd you work before? Um, I worked as an IT specialist. I'm not gonna say where, but uh, I worked as an IT specialist. It was fun. Um, I I think I learned a lot there, but I'm I'm I've also learned that I'm never gonna work IT again. <laughs> no, thank you, dude. I'm good. Um, damn IT specialist. You are the best in the business, work? Alex. Nope. Keep Don't got a single one. Thank you, AK. Appreciate you, dude. That means a lot, man. Uh, worked as a tech before, never again. Yep. No help desk for me. I do other IT stuff. I'm a, dude, having worked in some parts of help desk. Yeah, dude, thank you so much again, Osman. Um, having worked at, at help desk before, let me tell you this. I honestly feel that if I replaced, have you tried to Google that problem? For any problem that someone brought me, I would be rendered useless. There's nothing that they couldn't Google. Like there was no problem I'd ever received at the level that I, when I was working like as a help desk, like just giving that particular group of like help. There's nothing I could have done that was like specialty needed. You just need to know how to Google things. And just like the attitude you'd get from people. No, thank you. Had a giant neon set sign that said, have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, there's definitely that too. But I mean like, I don't know. I think the whole tech world right now, the reason why I don't like working, this is not just tech, but corporate jobs. <sighs> I know I've talked to you guys about this. I hate the feeling of being treated like, ah, okay, how can I word, word this? I hate when people employ you to do something, they're be like, hey, so you're gonna be filling in, I don't know, I'm making something up right now, but you're like, you're filling in these forms, you're also gonna be helping this. And then, you do all the jobs that they're giving you, right? And you might have like that 30 minutes in between things, like maybe the time adds up to 30 minutes because you know they have to fucking monitor you with a clock. And they're like, well, we can fill in this guy's. I just kind of feel like, a, I don't know, I kind of feel not disposable in a way, but just kind of like not human when someone does that, when they're just like assigning me work and it's like, well, you still have 20 minutes. And even, I feel like I'm being punished for doing work well and efficiently. So it's like, what? why would I wanna do work efficiently when I'm just gonna be assigned more work? It doesn't, it's never made sense to me. Uh, it doesn't even matter if I was hourly or hourly, to be honest, angry, because it would always be like 40 hours, like that's what they would do. But like, I don't know, it just, it never sat well with me. Like I would just be like, why? why? There's no incentive to doing more work. I worked salary for most of my jobs though, Adam. Uh, they view as a number in a spreadsheet. Yep. <clears throat> Need to work slower. Yeah. A lot of uh, places say they care about you when the time, get yeah. 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 I don't know, man. I, I just always felt this level of like, I don't know, no point. Like honestly, sometimes it just felt like no point. But it's a job at the end of the day, right? That's how I started treating most of, most of the stuff towards, I'd say like, before I got into this, the last like, there was a, a time period where I kind of bounced back and I was like, no, I'm gonna give it my all. But for the last two major companies that I worked for, I'd, I'd say that there was points where I just really felt blah. The one with the, the company before my last though, um, there was a point where I just didn't feel like trying harder because there was nothing extra in it for me, like nothing. Uh, so worked really hard and it'd always, it'd always be told like, oh, maybe another time, maybe another time, maybe another time for raises or incentives to work harder. But 
We're like family in our company until we have to meet our liquid cash flow numbers to report stakeholders, then buy ya, then see ya. I gave up my comfortable job that paid me really well when I, uh, that I hate it to work from home for less than half of what I made before. And honestly, even though I'm making less, I like it a lot more now. A lot of people are in the same boat as you. A lot of people would prefer to be paid a little bit less, but not have the mental, like the crushing mental stress that comes with going into an office and having to uphold appearances with people that don't give a flying fuck about you, that are th just there for the exact same reason as you, to make a dollar and go home. Would you be, uh, I am gonna be doing it on the 15th, I believe, AK? L-Y. I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you're having an even better day. But yeah, I'm having a pretty good day today. We didn't have a power slash internet for a little while today, so did as much as I could. And then, uh, I don't know, then my head started hurting. Preach it, thank you, Snoopy. Only sad thing, I don't um, get to share all my crazy pharmacy stories anymore with chat. As long as you're happy, you know, man. I feel like the upholding appearances part is the worst part besides bad coworkers. I mean, even if I had great co coworkers, dude, the time and effort and just like the mental, like, I don't know, it's still stressful at the end. It's still a social battery that you have to drain just to do your job. She got my cog. Oh, you did? Nice. I get my Kaze soon from DHL, I think, is delivering it. I don't know who's delivering it. I wish I had coworkers. Working solo sucks. You know what I do angry? when I Because I work alone too, right? I just hang out with people in dis discords and stuff. Watch Twitch streamers too. Because I think for me that gives me the, like, the sense of companionship without having to like necessarily promise anyone any of my energy. You know, like, dude, me and Tim will talk sometimes during the day. I'm not gonna lie, man. Tim's playing fucking video games most of the day, right? He's on his phone playing mobile games. We're not even talking. He's just mumbling to himself some bullshit that he's doing on his fucking... Whoa, hey, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I promise you my energy, Alex. Yeah, he's playing that game, bro. Kim Lin Win, he's playing that game all day long. That's his new game. We tried playing, we tried playing uh, Borderlands. This guy got so addicted to his phone games that he got motion sickness within five minutes of playing Bo Borderlands. So we couldn't even play Borderlands. He had to sit down and sit on his, uh, his phone games again. <laughs> if Tim, if Tim grew up in this era, he would definitely be an iPad kid. 110% dude. Tim is the most productive person I know. Dude, mom using is too nice, man. He is too nice. Patty Pills, thank you so much for 11 months. I promise you my energy. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the energy, Patty. Appreciate you. Uh, Borderlands 2 is really good. I didn't mind Borderlands 3. Tim, we still need to play, by the way. The game's installed. So whenever you're ready to play, I'm playing with you. Actually, Tim, I'm not making a joke. I think I mentioned this. I don't know if you were in the call earlier. Do you want to play Sea of Thieves? I'm not making a DN joke, all right? Do you want to play Sea of Thieves, though? I kind of want to be a pirate with you. I'm not going to say Sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves nuts. When I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it, Tim. I'm already telling you I'm not doing it, dude. Alex, I hit Masters and Apex. Damn, Yoshi. I need that, dude. I've been, I've been loving Apex lately. This new patch is so much fun. I, I love the whole uh, idea of having different characters with different roles and stuff like that that actually do something. So Skullhead, I want to do that. That's actually on my list to do some sort of like match between custom keyboard people. Like get 100 people in a match or I don't know, maybe for Fortnite. Maybe not Apex. If you think I'm falling that I do Tim, listen, it's not it's not a joke. I hit diamond in Overwatch even though I'm pretty new with the game. Damn, a diamond's not a bad rank. You did pretty well. Overwatch though is not my cup of tea. I uh, I got the when Overwatch 2 got dropped and people were playing it, I started playing it too and I was like this is bad and then everyone abused 
the crap out of um, what's her name with the, the the gun, the tank girl. I don't remember her name. They abused the shit out of her. And Zara, yeah, I just I'm not playing that game anymore. I don't even know if they fixed it or not, but she was just like infinite shield. Moira, Moi, Moira Nut, what? Moira too. Play with all the people who are just DPS Moiras, and nobody healing each other. If you can't beat them, join them. But she, I don't know. I didn't find her character enjoyable. Actually, what happened with that, Tim? We were playing Overwatch too, weren't we? Oh no, it was me and Angel. I don't know if you played. Tim, are you excited for City Skylands 2? Slurpus wants a compliment. You know what I'm always excited for? <laughs> My nightly chats with Slurpless. Slurpless, love you, buddy. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, and I hope the rest of your week goes well. I know it's only Monday, but you got this, dude. Appreciate you. Uh, yes, I'm pumped. Yeah, I might actually pick up City Skylines 2 as well. When's it come out? I've been low-key eyeing picking up Zoo Tycoon again. This one seems so fun to me. I tried um, Maiming Hammond, uh, Maiming Hammond uh, and I'm a liquid ass. What happened? I'm a liquid ass at that game? I've never heard liquid ass. That's crazy. Apex ruined my need for movement and shooters. Yeah, but I, I feel like Apex is so good with movement. It's so much fun. It's so much fun with the movement there. I have no idea when it drops, just this year. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I used to play Zoo Tycoon in the public library as a kid. Yeah, Zoo Tycoon and Roller... I think I preferred Roller Coaster Tycoon growing up. Ah, uh, Dodge Grease. Where on earth did I stick you? Bro, I'm at 1,500 hours in Apex. I need help. Um, as long as it's not becoming a problem, man, you know? Don't get me wrong, I love video games as much as the next, but uh, I know everyone's different, but I will say this though, guys. When I, when I started to wean myself off of playing games as much as I used to, I felt a lot better. Mini Motorways does seem pretty fun. I, I was kind of eyeing that game as well. I've never bought it, but it seems like it's a fun pickup. You would wean off? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, Titanfall was the best for movement? Oh, Titanfall was pretty awesome for movement too. You know what else was great for movement? Uh, it, it was a game called Anthem. It was so good for movement because I moved it from my desk to the trash can in less than a fucking day. That game was a disappointment. Um, actually, Roblox is the best movement. Got him. Had me for a sec. <laughs> Anthem was so, had so much potential. Yeah, it was a fucking letdown. That game made me so sad, man. So sad. Club Penguin was fun. Yeah, the movement in Club Penguin. Best prelube switches? Uh, moon switches, I think, have the best prelube on them in general. Or anything from, I guess, that menu. Monkey type is my favorite FPS. <laughs> Tim would say that, man. I'm depressed now, thanks. Anthem had the best movement, but worse, everything else. It still haunts me, I'm so sad. <sighs> it, are they doing anything with that game? I need to check now. I need to actually look at this. Are they doing anything with that game? Has anything ever been done with, with Anthem? Is it a dead game now? I don't know, is, that's it? Is it a dead game? I'm actually curious. Let me see the latest news. Celebrate one year with Anthem. Oh, they haven't updated their news since 2020. Oh, it's dead, dead. It's dead, dead. 2020 was the last update for this game. Damn, Unforge. 
Someone who's actually good at games needs to like grab the devs, not be a EA and just have them make a better game. Um, my tabletop is from Ikea. It is called the e Ekbakken, Ekenbakken, something like that. All right. Did someone say Anthem? What's up Skull King? How you doing, man? Well, let me just double check what our client wanted today. Um, I don't know if the client's in chat right now, but it is a hot swap, I suppose. Let me just double check what, uh, hopefully they answer before I, uh, I do it. Client check. Uh, what do you use in NAS? What's a NAS again? What, what is that? Just make a peanut butter jelly. Yo, a peanut butter sandwich kind of sounds like really sick right now. I'm not gonna lie. There is nothing wrong with a good peanut butter jelly sandwich. Dude, so nice. David, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate that. That means a lot using that on me. Thank you, dude. Uh, network, network to tap. Oh, like the extra storage stuff. I don't use anything. I'm in this, uh, this boat hoof where I, uh, if a file sits on my thing for more than a month, if it sits on my hard drive, I delete. <laughs> I don't save my files anymore. Like the little videos I make, most of the time they're uploaded any somewhere anyways. So like, I don't care. I I'm, um, my stream recordings are killing me. Oh, I just leave them on Twitch. I delete them after I'm done. <clears throat> Honest, I, I'm just like, I don't know. For, for me, it's like clutter in my computer. So I'm just never gonna keep it. I really do need to go through like some of my folders and just delete some old stuff. But uh, I do keep some stuff on like Google Drive and Apple, like the iCloud there, but that's about it. Anything I should change to sound, my sound profile of the QK65? I'm tired of the foamy sound. Ooh, we have a, a foam convert. Goblin, I honestly think um, if you're tired of the foamy sound, you could try building it with no foam. Um, and if it really bothers you, like the sound profile, because I don't remember if the QK65 has, has really aggressive flex cuts. I'm assuming it does. Tape up maybe the back of them ever so slightly with a thinner tape or move the foam to underneath the PCB rather than in between the, pa the plate and the PCB. How's the bias treating you? I'm loving it. I am straight loving the bias. I do think we should put foam in this bear today though. Cause I, I know how the bear sounds and I built my own and the foam does sound a lot nicer in it. <clears throat> the vertical cuts? Yeah, then tape them all up. Alex, do you have $500 for a plane ticket so I can rob you? You want me to buy you a plane ticket, Adam? So you can come here and rob me? Say no more. <laughs> Tenant waiting room? It's still not shipped. How'd you build your bear? I built it with... Actually, I don't know if he's in chat right now. Pasta has it now because he, he won the giveaway for it. But I built it with um, blue bonnet switches and I put the mid plate foam with the aluminum plate. Alex, how long is your commission queue right now? Um, that's a great question. I will tell you. Let me see. My commission queue is, it was five weeks a few weeks ago, but I am booked out until, I got two more slots left for March, <laughs> which I think they're gonna be gone this weekend. But uh, April is pretty free, I think. I think it's about three weeks, three to four weeks right now, um, Starfire. Which is honestly very normal. Um, some months it, it goes by like week by week. Other months it's like you have to book things five weeks in advance or else no one gets a slot. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> No problem. I don't know if that was helpful or not. I hope it was. Sorry, uh, Alex, guess I take all your April slots. 
Actually, I think you, you have two slots this week here, Slurpless. Tat, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. I appreciate you. That means a lot. Thank you so much. So nice. Thank you, thank you. Alright, put this foam on. Ooh, the foam is kind of like a little adhered to this. Okay, we got it. Yeah, let's put the foam on. I'm down for a little bit of foam today. Dang Tier 3. Sporky! So nice. Hello, handsome Otos. God Hope damn. you have a good Monday so far. Sporky, thank you so so much. Sporky, I'm doing great today. Actually, um, Sporky, I'll, I'll DM you later. Those springs for our little project just came in. They, they came in way later than I thought they would, but they, they're in now. So we got you those springs for our little project. Uh, does anyone know if the Envoy is still on track to get shipped on time? I'm assuming so. I haven't heard anything about that, but I'm assuming. Thank you again, though, Sporky, and thank you again, uh, Nix. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, time to take up slots just to talk to Alex. Yeah. <laughs> my neck, my crack, my Alex sub is back. Damn, Abo, that was pretty clever, dude. Can you build a board with pen springs? That sounds awful, actually. So nice. Like low key. My neck, my crack, my Alex <laughs> Otto's sub is back. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's pretty good, Sporky, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, where's my screwdriver kit? Or uh, not Sporky, Evo. I kind of want to send you a board to build at some point. Oh yeah, go for it. I have uh, slots lined up for April, if you want. Let me double check. Yeah, I'd say April. April's clear. And then May is probably a busier month. Because May I have to go, I'm going to Morgantown for a little bit to go visit Novel Keys. Which I'll probably stream there, and then um, me and uh, me and Geo have the Toronto meetup to attend. See you guys there. Elquan's gonna be there. Better get to them before I do. What's the oh wait, muscle muscle man? Damn, bro! Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Where the fuck is my screwdriver? Hello. Screwdriver? Oh god, I think I know where I left it. <sighs> Did I leave it there? <sighs> Be right back, guys. I need to get my screwdriver. I, I brought it to the kitchen, I think, because I was using it to screw something in. One second. So I'm gonna use a different screwdriver right now. Um, sounds like a bad cop show. Toronto's been weird lately, dude. I'm gonna use this mode one. Toronto's been super crazy with things. I have no idea why, bro. Do you build boards that aren't seven billion dollars plus? <laughs> Once in a blue moon, I uh, like to step down from the billion dollar mark. The answer is yes. Once in a blue moon, I don't mind. Other than that, seven billion dollar builds only. Thank you very much. Alex, did you build me a five hundred? Can you buy me a five hundred? I don't. Why do I have to buy the ticket too? Huh? Don't you have a second I fix it kit? It's, I think I think I left it at my parents' house. I actually don't know where the second one is. I think I brought it to them and then I just forgot about it. <laughs> That's why I'm probably. It's a pretty good bit. All right. Swimming in Canada is free. Is it not free in the United States? Alex is so humble to step down to our level. Yeah, yeah, let's, no more 770 plus billion dollars keyboard builds. 
No more. I will guard you. Thank you. Wait. Kimlin, you're going to the uh, meetup too, right? Damn, so many familiar people. There's going to be... That, that Toronto meetup going to be crazy, dude. Have you been to Toronto before? That meetup's going to be crazy. Uh, I will sell you all my keyboards for only $5 billion? Damn, Nev. That's like giving them away at that point, bro. Oh, nice. Yeah, Toronto's awesome. So you're, you're kind of familiar with things. I think Nainai said that was her first time going to be going. Swimming in the US is like $50 entry, $10 insurance, $100 convenience fee. <laughs> you know what? I don't doubt it. What can I say? I like to give back to the community. Just, just like to give back to the community real quick. You know what I'm saying? I've been in Toronto more times than I can count. Me too, actually. I'm there pretty often. It's a fun place to visit. Uh, not hating. Um, this is a genuine question. What's the point of a keyboard shape like this? That is not a hateful question in the slightest, so don't even stress. But um, this keyboard, I'm not going to say it's super ergonomic because I don't truly think this is considered something to be super ergonomic. But it does help with wrist placement. So for example, if you were to position yourself here, I kind of have to move my wrist. See how they point inwards? With this keyboard, I don't have to point inwards. I can actually keep them out and flare my arms out a little bit more. Right? So it does help with, with any sort of wrist problems you may have. I do think that the, the better ergonomic keyboards are split keyboards actually, where you can move your hands freely depending on where you actually want them. But there are some different levels of like Alice boards that I've found that are a little bit more, I guess, V-shaped. But um, yeah, it's, it's good for people with like, I think, believe it's RSI and stuff like that. Like a lot of, um, a lot of people who do have that do end up going with a keyboard like this. Um, tonight. Oh yeah. So that probably helps with that too. I have the near field and it's the perfect angle. That's a nice keyboard. I've been to Canada exactly once and it was for four hours. Was it like a layover? I consider Alice layouts ergonomic. I'm on the fence with considering them ergonomic because I do think there are better options. <clears throat> it's just comfy to type, um, to fun to type on in general. Yeah, like I love the feeling of Alice's. I'm just god awful at typing on them because I type with my fingers like an old man. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Any old man in chat? I'm sorry. That wasn't a diss. I'm with you in the club. Um, <laughs> is that a circle? Is that circle thing above your tools like a mini cat toy? Why does everyone think it's a cat toy, man? It's it's a screw holder. There's a magnet in the middle. It's a screw holder that you fiddle with. I've had so many people on Instagram just call me a cat. Happy Monday, It's based Alex. off a cat toy? But what would I be doing with a cat toy? Happy Monday. Thank you, Mr. Wiggles. Appreciate you, dude. JJW cat toys and he picked the wrong field to go into yo Alex I'm new here what's going on dude do you know um around when you're gonna be building the zoom 75 so I haven't touched base with them I'm hoping I get to do it soon uh, I don't know how far along they are with like a production model or some sort of pre-production model for it but um I don't know I actually don't know the answer to that I'm hoping soon uh, Ken, yes. I'm hoping I can find an extra night in the next week or two to go over the board with no flex cuts. I I'm kind of hoping I, I can do it this week. I'm not going to make any promises, though, simply because I, I didn't really account or schedule that kind of stream. It's just kind of extra that fell on my lap. But I'm going to do my best because I feel like it's it's good information for people to have. Uh, is it big? Oh gosh, now I feel silly. I'm playing with a cat toy. It's all right. 
Do an EU stream? Yeah, it'll probably be like on a Sunday or something. Extra Sunday, little bit of uh, stuff there. Dude, Zef. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. That last episode was my favorite episode so far. Like, when it when did it end it? I was like, I was my blood was like pumped up. Like I was I was getting pumped up. So, what happened to the red cock? What? Red cock? This thing? This is a. Uh, I don't even know what you guys are talking about now. So damn brutal. No one spoil it. No one spoil it. Oh, the red clock. Uh, it's right there. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you um, know that you can get a job testing tea? It's called being a tea blender. You might have to taste and write feedback about 1,000 teas a day. I don't, I don't like tea that much. When's the room tour coming? Soon. Soon, 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 I pinky promise. I don't have an exact day for it right now, but soon. Uh, I see when people ask about a cat. There's a toy that looks like the tray with three tears and a spinning ball. Oh. Well, now I know why people were calling me a furry and stuff on Instagram. Makes sense now. I know, money. I'm not gonna lie, money. Keep it a buck fifty to you guys. The commission builds have been killing me. I ex I accept it way too many thinking, cause dude, this always happens with commission builds. Usually people take forever to ship them out. So I have to accept a lot. But this month, everyone was diligent and shipped them all out on time. Actually, it kind of happened in the beginning of January. So mo ev everyone wants their build streamed. I'm always open to not building them on stream because I can get them done in like literally two days. But everyone wants them streamed. Oh yeah, it's it, I'm not complaining about the business at all. It just it doesn't really leave me a lot of like mental room. Uh, to do full length videos when I'm constantly cleaning up after the streams and packing and shipping things and It's cool to see the process. Yeah, yeah Close commissions for a while then no, I Again to keep it real with you guys. I much prefer doing this than doing YouTube videos uh, Why not charge more for builds? Uh, to offset demand. Oh, no, no, it was just it was just it was just like a January February thing We're way back to normal now um, Plus I've already kind of It's not that I don't want I don't want to charge more for builds for one reason Which I've kind of already touched upon but uh, it's not a big deal. I, I'm totally fine guys. I Don't want to make this more expensive and less accessible for people who maybe want a build done by someone um, just because I want to make a few extra dollars by offsetting a schedule I can just tell people no you know I'm not I'm not doing this to like turn an insane profit uh, where did I put my little thing here if you hate just making vids and then stream the process of making the vid damn that's pretty crazy to think about yeah, I could do that, honestly. I just don't like the the idea of doing dedicated videos where I'm sitting there filming all day long. <sighs> Alex saying rich, almost can afford a haircut. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm at the point where a haircut's coming in next week, I think, you know? What's the board on the desk? I almost read that as beard. I was like, the beard's on my face. Uh, this is the bias. Actually, quite a lovely build. Uh, that is a commission Kohaku. It's actually surpluses. So it should be really fun. Um, okay, let's do... Hold on, I just want to double check something, chat. Would you do a 24-hour build stream? Hmm. Last time, I barely lasted 12 hours before the tiredness kicked in. 
I don't know. So it's, it's a lot of keyboard too, man. Uh, the bias seems a bit unfair. Yeah, it's a bit biased. All right. I think this keyboard's gonna sound fucking amazing, but let us do some testing. Okay, we have Striker. All right, are you guys ready for the best time of chat? How many recent boards do you recall with over 20 mil front height? Uh, it's not that common anymore. A lot of people are straying away from the 20 mil front height all right, guys, slash prediction time. You guys already know how this works. We're gonna do a prediction. We're gonna see if the GMK caps, GMK K caps are messed up, even if one is messed up. So that means overlapping completely. Slight overlapping does not count, but if it's overlapping completely, flipped over, way off base, ultimately, I'm the judge here. I'll let you guys know if it's messed up, but we're gonna see if it's messed up or not. And we're gonna do this for, we're gonna run this for two minutes. So go ahead, vote, is the GMK set gonna be messed up? Yes or no, it's gonna be perfect. Well, nearly perfect. I'll let you guys do it. There you guys go, I know you guys love doing this shit. Um, did you shake it? <sighs> Can't tell you guys that. Actually, no, I'm gonna be fair. I took this out very gently from the keyboard container that it was shipped in promise you guys that's that's on me like i i very carefully always do this stuff very carefully never once am i gonna do that to you i would never do that to you guys um, went in all in 112k hot damn crummy Damn. You listen to uh, Dr. Hayes? No flex cut sound test, and it's a lot better? Yeah. I can already tell you that's gonna be fixing the problems. <laughs> the flex cuts, holy shit, 528,000 points? Damn. Dude, I need to cut my hair. I just realized how long my hair is. Okay, I think that I think I need to shave, man. Dude, I, I've been lazy this week. Jim K Trust. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give myself credit. It's not that I've been lazy. I've been very busy the last week and a half. All right, guys. Very busy, very busy, very busy. Give those a good shake for me though. All right. Why'd you flip it? Cause I needed to, cause it was upside down. You guys didn't notice it was upside down, did you? Would you prefer me to open it up the wrong way? Nah, you guys didn't notice it was upside down. <laughs> That's on you guys. I'm not supposed to tell you guys that shit. That's on you guys. All right. Actually rigged? I didn't do it, man, on purpose. Okay. Okay, this counts as good. We're good here. This doesn't matter if it's flipped over completely here. That's bound to happen. This counts as good. Now the second one. No. Oh. We have a we have a good uh we have a good one today, guys. It is not messed up. It, it, this is the first time in a while we've had a not messed up one. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's not it's not messed up. This is not full overlapping. This is slight overlapping. All right, let me, let me uh, assign the points to you guys. Prediction, choose outcome. No, it is not messed up. Congrats to everyone who you guys just won 918,000 channel points. Jesus. Jeebus, we eaten 40k down the drain. 
I'll make some new, you guys are getting way too many channel points. I need to make some better, better commands for the channel points now. <laughs> Jesus paradox. Please don't do that. Glad to redeem for VIP. Oh yeah, there was the VIP dump. I need to think of another dump to uh, assign points to. Eating, oh my God, Korean, you're eating Korean fried chicken tonight? Bro, that shit's so good. They have, um, at some of the Korean fried chicken joints, they have, um, wait, actually, sorry, I'm going way off topic here. Oh, okay, good, we have this. They have garlic chip, which is just like, you know, garlic and I, I'm assuming some other flavors with little chips of garlics as well. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Nothing is better than Korean fried chicken, nothing. I have not tried that place yet, uh, Pico. I, I've been meaning to, it's been on my list. Soy garlic, it's so good. This one's the long one, I think. These stabs are kind of thick. I think this one goes here. I'm just testing the stabs right now. These are good, um, good switches. <clears throat> yeah, the actual KFC, real KFC, like, real KFC is Korean fried chicken. Fake, the, the fake shit, the KFC that you find, like the fast food joint. Dude, every time I have fast food KFC, my stomach hurts the next day. Like, it is just not good to me. I don't know how, I, I don't mean to sound rude, but like the Kentucky Fried Chicken shit, dude. When I when I eat that, my stomach's gone. Like it just hurts. I don't have to use the restroom. It just hurts. I will take no slander on the Nashville hot tenders from KFC. I can't say I've had had that. But uh, yeah, I'm just not big into it, man. Not very good. Have you tried chicken uh, a a bodo? I've never had that. No. There's a lot of things I've never tried. Honey garlic is way better than soy garlic. No, I think both are very good choices. My favorite, I've talked to you guys about this and you guys can make fun of me all you guys want. My favorite fried chicken flavor is on a particular, it's on wings. It's one place here called All Stars. They make maple Thai. It has this perfect, I don't know, blend of like, a little kick of spice with some of the flavors of the Thai sauce with the maple syrup. <laughs> Slurpless just, I bet Slurpless is rolling your, his eyes right now, of course. All right, let's do these. Sweet Thai is a thing, so it makes sense. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit different than sweet Thai, like I've had sweet Thai. Maple Thai has like a certain smokiness to it from the maple, like a, Different, a little bit of a different flavor. Can you stop building the board till I get back? Thanks. Where are you going? You better not be hopping a flight right now, Adam. I don't need to get robbed. Uh, I have PTSD from KFC fast food. I got mashed potatoes stuck in my throat and it was hot and it burned my throat. <gasps> Damn, bro. Uh, thanks to the TTC Bluey recommendation, but I think I'm getting the JWK One Piece switches as a gift for someone. That's probably gonna make them so happy though, Tyler. Cookies and cream wings? Cookies and cream wings? Oh, okay. Okay, um. Uh... You had me, you had me there, bro. Did you look at that sauna yet? No, I have not. I have to open it up still. I'm probably gonna be doing all like the pre-work to it off stream though, Slurpless, so you won't get to see my reaction to that, unfortunately. But I'll probably, I'll probably message you. But um, I'm uh, trying not to do desoldering on stream anymore because it takes way too long. Remind it, reminded me of my cousin that eats eggs and peanut butter sandwiches. I don't know how I feel about that. Is there any way to get a Bear 65? As of right now, I think 
Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe guys, people in chat can tell me, but you guys in chat will be able to direct to this person, but no, I think. I think you have to get it aftermarket. I'm pretty positive. I'm pretty positive. Extras just ran. Oh, there's your read through then. It's a nice board. I think a lot of people are probably after it. I'm officially at 10,000 channel points. I'm on my way to that Discord roll. There's gonna be some changes coming to the Discord soon whenever they roll to feature for Canadians. But uh, I wanna make the Discord, believe it or not, I actually care more about Discord than I do YouTube. I think Twitch is obviously my first in, I, I love Twitch, it's, it's awesome. Like I just like live streaming, I, I won't say Twitch, but live streaming. But I want to make the Discord like another hub for a lot of fun stuff that we need, want to do. So I was considering um, doing some other stuff. I don't really want to disclose too much of what I was thinking because I, I want some fun stuff for us to do in Discord too. Does anyone know what like a really good uh, and worth for your money switch tester? Mm. Do you guys have a good recommendation for that? I'm addicted to Alex's compliment. Uh, to save past. Oh yeah, I know. I'll, there's been other people who've told me the same thing, Slurplus. Uh, so basically VIP is for people who don't want to or just can't sub and still want access to the sub only channels in Discord. So I decided to make like a role that gives you access to the same channels. I don't know, I, I believe that there should be access to for people who can't afford that kind of stuff, so. I don't know, just make it accessible, right? That's all that matters. These switches are pretty. Look at them. For some weird reason, I don't think this is enough switches, but I I think we lubed 72, which I think is enough for this. I think. I should have JWK Blueies somewhere in the house. I think this is enough. I'm not, I'm not too positive now. For some reason, I think we need 75 for this. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's super neat and that's a permanent option. Yep, permanent option. It's not like a monthly thing that you need to redeem. Just one time. So nice. Oh my God, Rammer, thank you so much for five months of being here, dude. I seriously appreciate you. Check VIP channel on Discord. Where's my Discord? Oh yeah, it's not the same color anymore. VIP channel. Oh yeah. Dude, this has been going on for four months. I stopped using the channel because of this for stream schedules. Cause <laughs> you guys post too many of my face. Uh, it's crazy, it's crazy to me, dude. Um, The can key sample, sample pack is pretty nice. Yeah, I don't really know. I think uh, I I think Drop also has something. I'm not too sure if Drops is really expensive for a uh, Switch tester pack. Um, are you looking more just for like a standalone Switch tester or are you looking just for like the Switches, like a sample pack of Switches? That's the real question. Like. I'm a little confused, I guess. By the way, do you still have a screen that goes, that's crazy, bro, but did I ask? No, I need to put that in still. I downloaded it, but never put it in. Okay, I need to do that this week. That's a this week, uh, that's a this week task. Because there are plenty of people that I could use that on. Like whenever Tim says something. <laughs> I'm joking, I love you, Tim. Please stay here. Ripped my compliment? Oh no, Virgil, did I miss something? Oh, I totally did. Bar. Let me tell you right now, Virgil. You know who I would never say, damn, that's crazy, bro? To you. All right? I love you. I hope you're having a great day today. And I would never hit you with that screen, right? I would listen to every word you always have to say. Appreciate you, dude. What role will channel points get you? Uh, VIP. Var, and I hope you're having a great week, though. For real. For real, dude. And if anyone hasn't told you this week, I'm super proud of you. Quackers. So nice. 
Hello Alex. Hello. Can't wait to see how the Bear 65 V2 is going to look and sound like. I'm waiting for some parts so I can build it live again. Alexot. Wow, Alexot, you woo. Oh, you, are you going to build a second uh, build for yours? Alex's comment redeem is one of the best redeems on Twitch. I don't know how we started that. I think I was, it was like way, way, way back in the day. But it started somewhere. I just don't remember where. Azim, thank you so much for the tier one. Keep doing what you're Keep doing. Keep doing what you are doing, thank big you. kiss. Appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day today. All right. So, look at this. JWK Blueies. This does not look real. Dude, why does everything from this angle look like a render? Like, that looks so fake. True. Does it look like that in real life? Kinda, I guess. Camera too good? It's so weird. It's so strange. All right, we're done this. Let's tune up the stabs ever so slightly. They were actually pretty good already, but just a little bit more. We don't need a lot. Two U stabs are always very easy. You look real though. Appreciate you. The goal is to look real. Once in a blue moon, I like looking real. The silver with Moto looks fake. It's so nice. Yeah, it's a nice combo. Moto Light's a good set. Is it still available? Is it still in stock? I'm pretty sure it is, right? It's a good, it's a good set. Nice to see the plants in the back too. Yeah, I actually, I really like seeing it there. Even though it's not real, it just makes the space look a lot nicer. OTC is? Yeah, still a nice. Oh, these springs are so good. TX 45 gram springs. Such a good spring weight. There is the bear. What a nice. Actually, do I like, do I personally like this blue? I think this is the shade of navy that I wouldn't mind. Although, still not my favorite of all the bear colors. I do think this is a very good, not as saturated navy. This is one of the better navies I've definitely seen. This is the navy that I have. Yeah, this is a nicer, this is a nicer navy overall compared to like other boards that I've seen. I don't love some of the other navies that I've seen. But yeah, it's kind of like ashish, ash grayish kind of. You have an e-white one coming in soon. Ooh, an e-white bear. That sounds kind of nice. We need more ultramarine colors like on the mechanist boards. Those are nice too. It's like that little tinge of green inside of them. On the alu uh, weight looks looking good on here now. Oh, the alu weight? Yeah, the alu weight's pretty. The weight's really pretty. It's just a, it's just a overall pretty keyboard too, right? Gonna make sure this goes in exactly right for it to slot into its spot. This feels like it's too long. There we go. Got it. Uh, this has been one of my dailies since I've gotten it. Hell yeah, dude. Unicorn blue looking like Mechanist Ultramarine. You know what uh, color I would want for the unicorn? If I can get another unicorn one day, I'd want bright orange. That would look, I, I don't know, man. I just, I've been really loving bright orange lately. Oh, we need to unscrew it. So nice. Favorite comfort streamer. Thank you. I appreciate that, Vander. That means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the stay here. Fuck, 
screws are kind of tight in here. Not gonna lie, I just got the QK75, now I think the 75 is the best layout. I think a lot of people really like the 75 layout overall. Ace, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. Uh, Play, thank you so much for being here for the first time. I hope I said your name right. The blue and gray unicorn R2.2 is almost out. I really want bright, bright, bright orange. That would be big poggers. So nice. 22 less than three. Pretty Calamity, thank you so much for 22. Hey, that's also our birthdays. Thank you, Pretty Calamity. I just wrote 600 word blog post about keyboards for school easy. That's easy peasy. First time watching Alex Soto stream too? Hey, thank you. I'm hoping you're enjoying it. So nice. Joshua gifted a tier one sub to user underscore 14,031. Thank you, dude, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a good one. Okay, now to get all these screws out. Again, one of my gripes of like deeper screw wells is now we gotta play this game of making them all fall out nice. All right, these are good. Let's put these in here. Uh, just thought about this. Do you really think they could do top housings with metallic glitter and switches? Wait, do you think they could really do top housing with metallic glitter in switches? Don't they already kind of do that with some switches? Don't they add metallic gl glitter in a few? I'm pretty positive, right? Thank you again, guys, for the subs. I seriously appreciate it. Um, I think Ho Hoshi Zoras have them too. There's, there's a few, I, I know there's a few. Yeah, Ruby, Sapphires have some glitter. Chaos Theories definitely have some glitter. You're right there. I don't know if it's actual glitter. I don't know what process they do to use to do that, but. Um, so if you built all the, if you have all these subs, does it mean you're dumb? <laughs> hey, well, man. JJW. JJW. gifted a tier one sub to Oogie Boogie 82. JJW, man. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, I need to, JJW, I need to message you later. I need to go get the package, but they haven't, uh, I have to still wait for the my front desk to email me saying that I'm allowed to go get it. So um, I wanted to actually open it tonight, but they didn't email me. Did it arrive today? I'm not even sure. Um, derivative build. Oh, I get. I guess. I'm kind of exposing the little secret that I was gonna do. I was gonna be it was gonna be a surprise random stream that that I was gonna like just pop up and be like, hey guys. Is my GMK set gonna be messy? What do you mean by messy? Hey, it's the cat toy god? Yeah, apparently JJW, you're no longer JJW underscore KB. You're JJW underscore cat toy. That's what chat has dubbed you. How's doing taxes as a content creator? <laughs> um, how can I put this li lightly? I would rather jump off a cliff. It's so fucking annoying. Dude, it's, it's probably the most, so potato, potato. <laughs> I am, but not a lot of people know about all the ins and outs of content creation, like what to label things as and income and stuff like this and expense stuff. I don't want to get too into detail because honestly, it's a, it's a boring ass subject, but yeah, it's, it's not fun, man. Yeah, bear build today. It's a nice board. Me only taking cash in photography or people zeal me to put in as a gift. I don't have that option, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't have that option. These go on the sides of the top case, right? I believe, yeah, they do. 
Why are there so many of these? Oh, I guess there's a lot. Okay, that's that. We're done the bottom case. Now, which one's the top one? This is the top one here. Uh, got married last year and it'll be our first year filing joint taxes. Oh, that sounds like, it kind of sounds like a fun little task. Okay, okay. Hold on one sec, guys. I think I put two, yeah, these two are the wrong ones here. These go on the bottom housing, or this housing here. gonna refresh this one here i don't like the adhesive on this particular one um this is the part where they find out about the secret bank accounts Damn, dude. sporky thank you so much for the five tier ones no there's no secret bank accounts guys pinky promise thank you sporky always appreciate you dude the pizza keyboard pizza the one the glarches did a fun project dude why am i hold on you guys are gonna see the top of my head and if i'm going bald up there don't tell me uh the moto light is so clean agreed it's such a nice color scheme for it dude why are some of these adhesives so bad on this okay luckily there's so many Um, Glarsh has been killing it. Yes, very proud of that boy. All right, that's that. By the way, I have a question for you guys. What's the best boba flavor? Moto Mist? Oh, Moto Mist is nice too. How does one look into their Italian viewership? What do you mean Italian viewership? Like country wise? I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive you just go into like your listings where people come in. Winter melon? You know I've never had the winter melon flavor yet from anywhere. What does winter melon even taste like? Mango, mango's good. Default boba is best. What's default boba? I feel like default boba means a Bunch of different things. Honeydew? Is it just milk tea? Is that default boba? Brown sugar boba with oolong milk tea? Brown sugar boba is not that bad. I don't, I've had it once, twice maybe. I don't mind um, brown sugar. I always find fruit, fruit flavored bobas are my favorite. Alex flavor? Hey yo. Hey yo. Winter melon tea minus milk. Wait, what does winter melon taste like again? Passion fruit tea? For me, it's lychee. Lychee is the best flavor, hands down. Lychee, so good, dude. Alex, you need the real fruit bubble tea? Um, have I had that brand before? I think I have. You gotta try it and you know? Interesting. Lychee top tier? Yes, it's so good. It's not, I feel like lychee has like a, a specific sweetness that is just so delicious. I love boba balls in my mouth. Me too. Uh, actually, I, I prefer coconut jelly opposed to uh, boba or I guess tapioca. Coconut jelly? is top tier. If you guys have not tried coconut jelly, I'm pretty sure maybe you guys have had like the QQ stuff, but uh, it is so damn good. All right, what's a, how can I tackle this? Let's do it like this. There's one. We gotta put them on beautifully. Look at this, look at those gasket placements. Oof. All these years of gasketing and I'm finally good at it. I say that as one flies off of the thing there. 
Uh, agreed. Lychee or passion fruit? Lychee is my favorite. Grass jelly? Dude, you know what? I, I, I had grass jelly, I think, last summer. I didn't love it. I think it was a texture thing for me. It tastes good, but I couldn't get over the texture of it. Um, I haven't tried lychee bubble tea, but I like lychee fruit. Lychee fruit's really good too, yes. How's the diet going lately? I mean, today I think I literally only had like 1,400 calories. I just haven't been hungry today. But uh, pretty good, I'd say. Even like my my uh, my thirst today hasn't even been like I've been forcing myself to drink water. I've been ordering way too much Uber Eats. We did two in January, but um, back to cooking now. I found uh, pork chops at the uh, grocery store. They've been having sales like every week. I don't know. I guess nobody wants pork chops, so they constantly have sales. It's usually like a pack of six or seven now that I'm finding for like seven bucks. So I'm like, and they're nice size pork chops. So I'm like, hell yeah, let me load up on these things. And then uh, the one of the butcher shops near where I live, dude, blessing in disguise this is too, because I, I like red meat, like I like steak. They've been having filet mignon, like bacon wrapped filet mignons for like, seven to nine dollars a piece which is like and they're fair size too so that's like pretty damn good to me um so we've been picking up that and i feel like our meals have been like fairly inexpensive that's such a good price and it's in a butcher shop so it's like really good tasting because honestly i'm starting to the once in a blue moon where you pick up a steak and it ends up being like 30 40 bucks for dinner that adds up you know so that's kind of off the table right now. It, it feels like it feels like I'm moving more towards I like picking up the um, the cheaper stuff and kind of making the dish just better. But good ingredients it goes a long way too. One thing that I will never skip out on. I know this sounds so random. I don't eat a whole lot of cheese, but when I do buy cheese, I make sure I get like a nice like proper cheddar cheese because. Good, good cheese really changes the way a dish tastes too. Depending on what you're using it for and stuff. Come on, I don't like, the, I don't really like these bags. There's a lot of screws here, Jesus. Are these backup screws? Oh, case screws as well, okay. I've never had that. I dropped 50 bucks in two giant prime ribs last week, so worth it. Yeah, it's okay to splurge to a treat yourself. Like there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm missing my bit for this, but this should work. The bit is with the screwdriver wherever the screwdriver is. I, I still don't know where I put my screwdriver. It has to be some, you know, I think it's in this room. I don't think I moved it anywhere else. There's no way. Um, I should go to Costco for my meat needs. Costco has pretty decent steak and stuff too. But I think for me, like there's definitely a difference between like the butcher shop and then going to like the local groceries. Such a nice blue. It is, right? Oh, oh, did you get your boards yet? Did they ship them to you yet? I know for, for some of my clients, it seems like there's been a delay in customs, which is unfortunate. Do stab foams usually do anything? Stab sticker foams? I never use them. Any of those extra little stab things, I don't bother touching. I find them to be utterly pointless. They are, they are not my favorite thing to use. No, that's not where I put that. Okay, let's move this off my desk because there's too much stuff here. Uh, should be Thursday? Hell yes, dude. 
I have a very uh, plain sandwich for lunch, usually cheese and salami, but I make sure I get good whole grain bread and a nice toasting healthy cheese in it. Okay, you know what? That sounds delicious. That, that's, what, that's what, to me, that's what matters. If you're getting like simple but good ingredients, that's where I'm finding goes a long way. You know what I picked up recently? I think I told you guys slightly about this, that I feel like truly elevated some of my, uh, my dishes. It sounds ridiculous, better salt. Not just like bullshit table salt, like good sea salts, good salts have seriously changed some of the way that, like just again, salt and pepper on a steak and stuff like that, really changed the way that it's tasted. Better salt is legit a game changer and it's not crazy expensive either. Good salt, especially the better crystallized ones, yes. Again, just a small little thing that you can do to like help elevate some of the dishes. Never sleep on sleep on MSG. <laughs> yeah, you can do that too, for sure. Um, this goes this way. Okay, this goes this way. Uh, pink salt's really good too. I've been picking up this salt. This is like the one fancy purchase I'll probably make in a long time. But it's like this salt from France that I have been utterly enjoying. I have no, I think it's called Flo, I have to go get it for you guys. But uh, it is probably the only really expensive thing that I will like pick up. Oh, these have blockers. Was there a non-wing keyless bear? Just got a bear 65 as well. I kept seeing vids about it sounding mad without foam though. Uh, yeah, it does sound kind of mad without foam. I, I have a I have a personal bear. Well, I had a personal bear as well. I gave it away, but uh, it does kind of sound mad without foam. It's a beautiful board though. Not a day goes by where I don't think of it. Salt is a game changer. Most people don't season enough. I feel bad when I go around meals for other people and just season just heaps before. It. Yeah, I, I feel you there. Um, what other tips and tricks can I give you guys that I've learned? Something exciting happens? Tell me nuts. I'm always excited to hear a Nuts Insiders story. That's, that's the salt. The hot, wait. How do you know that? Is that the only salt? Yeah, that's the salt. It's it's so it's so good, dude. How do you make steaks? Because I only use salt and pepper and it's just too good. I have two ways. If I'm buying a cut of meat that I know is gonna be utterly doo-doo, I do it this way, which is salt and pepper, generous amount of salt, um, depending on the thickness of the steak though. Keep that in mind. Then what I do is I put grapeseed oil in the pan, but then also brush on a very, very light coat of like a garlic oil. Then what I do is cook it. And then as the steak's cooking, put a little butter, a little rosemary if you have some. You baste it in that. I'm not gonna lie, there have been, that method for me, like it's pretty standard. Like there's nothing like crazy about that. But um, the last thing I do on the cheaper steaks, just cause I can, you can taste a bad steak. It burns in the pan. Oh, I've, I don't, I've always done it. Good, good to note the Nev. I actually use a bit of teriyaki on like the, 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 the crappy cuts of meat. So teriyaki sauce, very light coat. You can use like a silicone brush thing just towards the end, very light coat, boom, one side flip, let it sear a little bit. You get like a nice crust from them, um, you know, it burning at the high temp anyways. And then you just do the other side, flip one more time at the end, then you let it rest. I will tell you this though. I can't stress enough for this guys. One of the biggest tips I'm gonna give you for steaks yeah, I've been doing CV uh, steaks, just like throwing it in afterwards. But let me tell you this, start cooking your steaks at room temp. It's something that I've always been like, cause I, I don't know, I'm not a fucking chef or anything, right? 
start cooking your steaks at room temp. Game like game changer when it comes to like doing that stuff. If it's too cold, it'll lower the temperature of your pan. You'll get like a weird kind of uneven sear. Uh, I always cook at room temp, no? Like the steak has to be room temp. So if it's been in the fridge, oops, let it sit for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Also, you know what another great investment is that I feel like everyone should get, especially if they're like newer to cooking and stuff like that. Don't be afraid to get yourself a meat thermometer. That shit's hella good. My panties room temp, is that right? <laughs> Always make sure your pan is room temp before it goes on the, uh, the stove as well. Good tip. Pico's got it, dude. Meat thermometer makes it easy to get steaks perfect. Yes. I'm 15. I know how to cook a good, uh, how to cook. So I mean, I'm pr if you're that age and you know how to cook, you got it. You got life right, dude. Let me tell you, you're doing things a-okay. Ooh, this is a nice color. I feel like you can use this as a desk pad. Yes, you don't want the juices to leak out. Always room temp, it helps keep the protein from seizing and squeeze. I'm sure there's other scientific reasons, but from what I was told, it is if you do not room temp, if it's cold, it lowers the, the temperature of the pan. Which is pretty crazy to me, man. All right, let's do our keycaps now. That everyone lost all their points on. The best steaks are well done. You do you. That's all I'm gonna say. You do you, dude. I'm 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 not into the well done steaks. Gotta appreciate a good color match. Yes, this is a this is a pretty decent color match here. I like this. I like the uh, the thought process that went into this. Uh, not a well done pers person. Sorry, but good for you. Yes. I'm medium rare, uh, borderline medium, I'd say. Like, I don't mind a medium steak, but medium rare. Medium rare, rare. Yeah, I think that's kind of where I'm at too. Did I ever tell you guys about the best recipe for making the, a tasty grilled cheese? You guys want the best recipe? Are you guys getting your notepads? Run to your notepads. I'm sure all of you guys will love this recipe. I've told you guys this. Use cheese, I'm sure that helps. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna pause the stream for one sec. Dude, I'm telling you, this recipe fucking slaps. All right, here's the ingredients you'll need. You'll need a little bit of, I think it was chili flakes, cheese, um, in particular brie, brie cheese, cranberry sauce, don't, don't freak out. All right. You get a nice bread. You put the cheese. Oh yeah. You put bacon, um, the cranberry sauce and the brie cheese and the bacon. It create. I don't know, man. It just creates this like beautiful. It's, it's so good though. Slurpless. And then a the little bit of that spice from the uh, chili flakes. Cranberry and brie is so good. It's just, it's such a good flavor profile together. And then the bacon, oh baby. Uh, the what cheese? The what cheese. If you don't have brie or cranberry, you can try cream cheese. Don't hate me guys. I'm actually not a cream cheese kind of person. I've never been big into cream cheeses. No, don't hate me though, don't hate me. For some reason, I've never gotten into it. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Repaired with fruit is the way to go. It's such a good sandwich, man. I'm telling you, it's such a good sandwich. Have you ever tried a croque madame monsieur? I've never, I don't even know what that is. Just disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Alex, I never hate you even when you're wrong. Love you guys. Uh, but this mix of flavor, I know you're a pure Canadian pro I know you're a pure Canadian product. Aaron, have you had something like that, dude? It's so good though, man. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, what happened, Kimlin? 
Pro tip, if you put some cheese in the outside like cheddar, oh yeah, dude. I know exactly what you mean. But you know what never goes wrong? Proper cheddar cheese on anything, man. Well, not anything, obviously, but proper cheddar cheese, I'll just eat straight. It's so good, man. Proper cheddar cheese, not processed bullshit. Proper cheddar cheese. Again, that's a once in a blue moon treat because I feel like cheese gets kind of expensive. I'll make you an original croc monsieur or madame. And yes, it's, uh, I got a lot of Quebec friends, so I know they love to put sweet everywhere. Damn it. It's so good. I'm looking forward to it, Aaron. If we ever meet, I'm looking forward to it. So which is worse, cream cheese or 40% layouts? <laughs> Damn, bro, why you, why you hit me with such difficult questions? Oh shit, we need the extra B. Why are you hitting me with such a difficult question, dude? Why don't you guys answer that? <laughs> it's not even 40% keyboards that bother me. 40% keyboards are cute. I think they're fine, they serve their purpose. It's sometimes the angry mob of people that feel like every keyboard now needs to cater to 40%. That's the boring part. That's the miss me with that bullshit part. Uh, mark my words, Swiss chocolate plus croque monsieur for you next time I come to Canada. Sounds good, Aaron. Appreciate you. Uh, bro, the kidding, we need support from the designers. The thing, I, 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 I'm just gonna talk for the sake of talk. I know we're joking around and stuff, but the thing with that argument though, I, I've seen people use that, like we need support from the designers and stuff like that. It's just, how does that work? And where do you stop, you know? Where do you stop like adding keys? Cause like, I don't know, a handful of people want them. And here's the other thing too. I've heard from designers that when they do add 40 support, after everyone tells them to add 40 support, nobody buys the 40s kits. So that's, and I've, this is not just me saying this. It's like, it's like, for example, it's like, uh, how can I word, how can I, how can I say this? It's like saying, I really, really want an orange shirt. Please make me an orange shirt. I want that shirt in orange. And then I make it for you in orange. And you're like, cool, I'm happy with that. And then you walk away from it. That's literally what it is. They just, it's just like they want to see it and then no one purchases it. <laughs> we want to be included, but ill, not that set. So it's just hard because like, you have to remember from like a vendor standpoint, if it's a group buy, that's one thing, you know? But uh, if it's something else where it's like there's in-stock units and you're ordering as a vendor, like you have to make sure those sets sell. Like you don't want dead product. And unfortunately, 40s kits, a lot of the times, are dead products. They sit there. Just like ortho kits, just like all those other kits. They just kind of sit there. Alex takes no prisoners. I'm just telling it how it is today. At least the same size they are. Does this not fit here? Is there not a proper... Oh, here it is. I'm so dumb. It's literally right next to it. I didn't see it. The foil was glossy because of the screen. I promise you guys. 40s, then spacebar, then international kits. I guess 40s and drawers are easy, easy, easily far less than 40% of the community. There's that. Surely there's data out there to find out what percentage of average people do by 40s. I'm sure there is, but you also have to remember too that some people could just not like a set, right? Some people could just say, hey, I just truly don't love this keycap set, so I'm just not gonna buy it, but include it anyways, just in case. You said you got a ticket, right? For what sale? A ticket to this gun show? There's no guns there, I promise. It's just, it's just a measly little arm. Oh, Toronto Maple? Yes, yes, I am going. It's 
it's not supporting designers if you don't buy what they're telling with uh it's not supporting designers if you don't buy what they are telling wait if you th if you don't buy what you are telling them you want what do you mean by that choosy also is there a compliment i was supposed to give orv hold on orvit wants a compliment orvit if you were a 40s kit i'd buy i'd buy every last one <laughs> i hope you're having a great day orvit i hope that the rest of your week goes well um I hope that you're enjoying the stream today. I hope that, I don't know. I hope that everything is going your way. I hope that you're smiling right now. I hope that you're having a, a great evening. Love you, dude. Hydrate. Will you kiss me on the lips? Huh? I would say don't go 40, 40, 40 support first run. Ah. Uh, I don't know, it's tough. It's really tough to, to to say like what to do in that case. I just will say that I know from fact facts, factual people, like there's vendors and people telling me that 40s kits never do well. And a lot of the times when there's a large majority of people saying they want 40s kits, then nobody buys them. Actually, I'm gonna put all these things here. M1, M2, and M3. I didn't even know there was like these M keys here. This is kind of cool. Although they're all kind of different profiles. I'm not sure how this works. Whatever, we'll just leave them like this. Uh, what happened, Angry? All D&D dwarf players have 40s at home. Might not be a coincidence. I'm sure uh, they love orange shirts too. Where's the escape? There is no escape on this. No one's escaping today. Not a single human being. Mm. Sorry guys, I'm deciding what I wanna put over here. What, in the set? Oh, in the set, escape right here. Let me put pause here. Okay, we're done. Ooh. I wouldn't want to escape. Where's GMK Alex Otos? I am, uh, I don't know. I don't know about Keycap set yet. We'll, we'll see in the future. Ooh. What do you guys think? Do we like the build? So nice. Tiger, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub, dude. Appreciate you. Oh, this looks kind of nice. You know what? This goes really well with Striker. Uh, have you worked on any Alex Otis products, like a keyboard kit or something? I had a keyboard kit, like a, not a keyboard kit rather, but a key cap set um, at one point. Um, I have some other stuff in the works. I don't want to tell you guys quite yet. There is something really cool that I'm hoping will come to fruition soon. Um, I, I dropped one hint recently that I'm not going to give you guys clues till, but... We'll see. Mouse pads? No, no more mouse pads. Mouse pads are a dime a dozen now. Everyone's doing designer mouse pads. That was fun when no one was doing it. And now everyone does it. And everyone's more talented than me. So <laughs> I'm not doing no more. Uh, oh, for the meetup? No, 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 no nothing meetup wise. Say it, no balls. You're right. Not yet. <laughs> uh, they're not switches. They're not switches. I don't know what I'd, even if I made switches, I don't know what the fuck I'd do for switches. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. I hope this client likes the board. Again, the bear I built without foam. I personally think the bear does not sound very good without foam. It's gonna have a slight foamy sound profile, but again, I think the, the nice part about this is the, the layout, the look, the aesthetic of this board. So we'll see what this sounds like. Let me plug it all in and stuff. All right. Uh, that's hot. Yeah, it's a nice looking keyboard. Let's see what this sounds like, shall we? Uh, 
my typing is so off on this. Okay, I'm gonna spam nothing now. The switches are so nice though. Like I know the sound, I'm gonna be honest, the sound profile, I feel, I feel like this is pretty standard for what we put in here. Like I, it's nice, there's nothing wrong with it at all, but I gotta admit the switches feel good. That 45 gram spring, I know it's hard to translate over a screen. Uh, we're using the Alu plate. Can we, get, can we imagine Alex building a keyboard and just how many revisions there would be? Yeah, if I built my own keyboard, like if I did my own, there'd be a lot of like, it, it would just be like a work in progress all the time. What cable is this? It's from Space Cables. Again, the bear is kind of nice. I, I've always appreciated the bear. I've always appreciated Jackie's stuff. Big into it. I think this sounds good for what it is. You know what's funny? I think if I look at an Alice board when typing, it throws me off, but as long as I don't look, I can kind of type normally. Pasta, are you liking yours? Are you, have you been using it? Again, not too bad. The JWK Blueys are a good switch. It's like one of the few JWK switches that I actually really like. Uh, the stock springs or whatever on the JWK Blueys, I still feel like you kind of need to spring swap them, but they're not a bad switch at all. Here's the thing we're doing next, guys. All right, I know today, I, t I don't know how I spent two hours on this board today, but here's the thing we're doing next. We're doing something called the Funky 60, I think it's called the Funky 60 tomorrow. Um, and then on Thursday, we're doing the TGR uh, Monike Tomo. We're doing Kohaku after that, and then a Sonnet. So this week is pretty stacked. It is fucking stacked for fun boards. And we'll be giving away something this week here too. Um, I'm thinking about, I'm gonna run it I think only on Discord. So for anyone here who, I mean, I, I think, I hope, uh, most of you guys are in Discord. But if you guys want to join Discord, um, join Discord. I haven't decided on what it is yet, but it's gonna be like I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know. I'll, I'll pick something out of my collection to give you guys. Uh, but I'll, I'll run it on Discord for like a day or two. I'll let you guys know. But we're pretty much streaming every day. Uh, the piggy's so nice, dude. I hope you guys had fun today. I almost feel like today flew by. I was actually having a lot of fun streaming with you guys. Like, it does not feel like we did two hours worth of streaming. Uh, we also might do like two double builds this week too with some other builds that I need to throw in on just streams. So uh, we'll see what happens to those. I have no idea. We'll figure it out though because I freaking love you guys. Love you, Alex. Thanks a lot for the stream, bro. Anytime, guys. Um, we'll do some more stuff. This week, like I said, j absolutely jam fucking packed with stuff. Um, and we'll do some fun stuff. We'll do some events. I guess this could be nice. I would love what to do that she on doing? like. All right. She's watching videos that I can't listen to because my. Oh, I can't copy paste here. Let's let's go raid nine nine go go slash raid nine nine go go. All right, guys. Enjoy nine nine stream. Uh, next time you make steak dip. Oh, do I need to make like a good steak dip one day too? That's what I need to learn is like how to make the steak dip stuff. QK80 Pimento. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we do Thursday. Again, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping I have the time to do it on Thursday night alongside the other build, but I'm thinking Thursday. Enjoy guys the rest of your night. Fucking love you guys. Uh, as always big smooches all around. Remember to check discord. We'll do Nev. Um, See you guys very, very soon though, okay? I will see you guys extremely, extremely soon. Peace out everyone, see you guys tomorrow, bye bye.